Fun farms. A fun farm is an agriculture organization that combines standard farming activities with entertainment and leisure activities. They are intended to attract visitors by providing a variety of interesting activities and experience relating to farming and environment, and frequently incorporate educational and entertaining features. The main attributes of fun farm: interactive activities. Participating events such as fruit picking, pony rides, corn mazes, pumpkin pages, petting zoo, and so on. Petting zoo can give guests the opportunity to get up close and personal with feeding various animals such as sheep, goats, and rabbits. Let's talk about fruit picking. Those who participate in this entertaining pastime can enjoy the delight of selecting fresh fruits. Fruit picking activities also provide opportunities for guests to pick tropical fruits with their hands, such as papaya, rambutan, durian, or mangosteens. Another activity that we will provide is exploration of herb and spice garden. Give guide tours of herb and spice garden to teach guests about the native herbs used in traditional Malaysian medicine and cuisine. Corn mazes. We will decorate mazes set inside, confused that guests can walk through to increase the excitement and difficulty of their visit. Next, education and learning. Fun opportunities for guests, particular kids, to learn about farming, animals, and the environment. We will also provide fun workshop for kids to conduct kids focused workshop that educate kids about agriculture, animal care, and the value of sustainable farming methods. We are engaging and entertaining activities for the entertainment. Actually, this category frequently includes things like live music, cuisine festivals, seasonal events, and team festival. Another that we will provide is ritual and hospitality. We will produce and goods from farms together with the unusual on-site meal or refreshment. The important facts about fun farms, which is the intent audience. First, demographics: younger families, school groups, people living in cities looking for weekend escapes, visitors searching for authentic experience, and those with an interest in agriculture and the natural world. Second, interest: people who enjoy being outside. Interacting with animals, going farm to table, and seeing different cultures. Third, motivation: seeking entertainment, knowledge, relaxation, and a change of pace from city life. Families are always searching for enjoyable and instructive activity for their kids. Okay, let's talk about our part three: revenue streams. Our fun farm revenue streams include admission fees, activity tickets, retail sales, food and drink sales, interaction session, and occasionally organizing private events like corporate get together or wedding. The another one source of revenue is entry fees. Fun farms frequently impose an admission fees to allow guests to use the farm's amenities. This charge might be one-time payment. Or a seasonal pass that allow entrance to a variety of events. The first one, activity ticket sales. There may be separate ticket sales for extra farm activities like petting zoos, pony rides, corn mazes, or seminars. These pursuits provide value and amusement while bringing in more money. The second one, item sales. Offering product meat on the farm, such as fresh produce. Gems and fruits, or items such as toys, branded clothing, and souvenirs with the farm's teams or animal on team. The third one, food and beverage sales. During holiday seasons or periods when visitors are most likely coming, some farms provide on-site meals or refreshment, which can generate a sizable income. Okay, let's talk about operational challenge. Which is include weather-related activities, seasonal variations, managing and caring for animals, making sure guests are safe, and developing memorable experience. The first one, 
revenue to expense the proportion, which is reduce the total cost of operations from the total revenue to determine net income. Examine if the income sources are enough paying operation expenses and providing a profit margin. The second one, alternative seasonality. Examine the annual variations in revenue and cost, resulting from seasonal activities and visitor trends. Create peak seasons and off-peak management techniques. For the third one is return on investment. Compare the original investment of funds needs to set up the fund with the earnings that have been made over time to determine the return on investment. Take into account elements like long-term sustainability and development potential. Profitable Fund Farm business plan promotes expansion and growth while ensuring that income sources are sufficient to pay operating expenses. Strategic planning, effective cost control, and income diversification are all necessary to keep the firm afloat. Market trends include rising interest in agri tourism a rise in the need for family-friendly and educational events, the significance of sustainability and eco-friendly practice, and the use of digital marketing techniques from marketing. Cultural talks provide insight into the rich cultural heritage and custom of Malaysia by showcasing customary practices like batik printing, traditional dance performance or handicraft creation. Entertainment, as I said just now, live music and cultural performance is to add a farm and cultural element to the farm experience. Schedule live performance of traditional Malaysian music or dance for weekends or special occasions. Third, seasonal festival is to draw tourists, plan seasonal gathering or festivals that honor Malaysia holidays and feature regional cuisine, music, and cultural events. Next, fourth, food exhibitions. Organize food festival that include Juni Malaysian Fair, letting guests several regional flavors and gastronomic delights. Ritual and accommodation, which is farm produce soups. It is an open market of farm stand to offer locally grown fresh produce such as organic veggie, exotic fruits, and specialized items that are exclusive to the area. On-site dining with regional cuisine For example, we can open a cafe or restaurant with Malaysian cuisine prepared with fresh foreign products to give guests a true taste of the area. If all these activities together with ritual, entertainment, and educational components may be combined to provide an immersive and varied experience that highlights the diverse, diversity and deep of Malaysia agriculture, nature, and culture in a fun farm setting. There are two potential markets. The first one is the rise in interest in agritourism in Malaysia. City residents decided to get back in touch with nature, learn about farming and participate in outdoor activities has led to a discernible increase in interest in agritourism. The second one is demand for experiential activities. Malaysians are looking for different experiences outside of the typical tourist features, especially as families and travelers. Fun farms give visitors the chance to participate in practical activities, offer an escape from the city, and provide an entertaining and informative experience. Let's talk about our competitors. There were three. The first one is Kalam Malaysian Fun Farms. Farms such as Cameron Lavender Garden in Cameron Highlands, Federal Residence Hot Spring Parak, and Farm in the City in Suri Kembangan. Combine entertainment with agriculture in a unique way. Second, the advantage of our competitors. All these farms draw a lot of tourism since they offer a variety of activities for all age groups, educational materials, and accessibility from big cities. Third, Lux competitors. 
certain firms may have space, activity or accessibility or limitations which might affect the experience of visitors. Some firms may not have a regular marketing plan or may not take advantage of seasonal trends. There were few possibilities and difficulties for a fun farm in Malaysia, which is opportunities, diversification. By providing special activities that are not offered by other farms, you might draw in a specialized consumer. Partnership. Joint venture with nearby companies, educational institution, or travel agency can increase our visibility and draw in a variety of consumers. The third one is sustainability focus. Dressing environmentally friendly materials or cultural events may distinguish a farm. Difficulties, for example, seasonal variability, which is controlling the flow of visitors during high and low seasons, might be difficult. Competition. Among established firms, sending out calls for innovative marketing approaches and distinctive products. Regularity compliances. For example, complying with local laws pertaining to safety, agriculture, and tourist experience can be difficult. A fun farm may strategically position itself by catering to specific audience interests, overcoming difficulties and utilizing possibilities within the local agritourism ecosystem by assisting in the market potential, target audience preference, and competition in Malaysia's setting. Okay, now let's talk about case study, which is located in Seri Kembangan, Malaysia. The farm in the city is an animal petting zoo. It provides a realistic environment for visitors to engage with a variety of animals in an immersive experience. Let's talk about the techniques of the farm in the city. The first one is interactive experience. They are under supervision. Guests may get up close and personal with the animals at the farm by feeding and stroking them. Second, education and conversation. This area focuses on educating guests about the eating habits, environment, and effort to promote conservation of the animals. The third point is mixed animal species. They provide a varied experience by housing an extensive variety of species such as insects, birds, mammals, and reptiles. How about their success elements? The first one is unique experience. By providing an engaging animal interaction, the farm stands out from the competition and draws in families and animal lovers. Second, instruction focus. By developing a balance between farm and education, school groups and families looking for education trips are drawn in. Its convenient location close to Kuala Lumpur makes it a popular destination for both residents and visitors. A lesson discovered from this case study, which is at the farm in the city, is that a very audience may be drawn in by offering an interesting and instructive experience. Visitors are drawn back by experience or animal species that are updated and varied of on a regular basis. The conclusion. Fun farms are agriculture organizations that combine farming activities with entertainment and leisure activities to attract visitors. We offer a variety of activities including fruit picking, pony rides, car maiden, and petting zoo. This farm cater to demographics such as younger families, school groups, and city dealers seeking weekend escape and authentic experiences. The entire audience includes people who enjoy being outside interacting with animals and seeing different cultures. Fun farms generate revenue through emissions fee, activity tickets, item sales, and food and beverage sales. Operational challenges include weather-related activities, seasonal variation, animals' care, guest safety, and long-term sustainability. Market trends include agritourism, family-friendly events, sustainability, and digital marketing. 
elephant farms can provide an immersive experience that highlights the diversity of Malaysia, agriculture, nature, and culture. Current Malaysian fun farms include Cameron Lavender Garden, Ferda Resident Hot Spring, and Farm in the City. However, some farms may have space, activity, or accessibility limitations, which may affect visitor experience. Fun farms in Malaysia offer diversification, partnerships, and sustainability focus, but face challenges like seasonal variability, competition, and regularity compliance. To success, we should cater to specific audience interests, overcome difficulties, and utilize local agricultural opportunities. Case studies like the farm in the city in Seri Kembangan demonstrate the importance of unique experience, education, and regular updates in attracting a diverse audience.